Hi people, TS here. Just doing my preview of our Europa League semi-final first leg against Valencia. Um, of course, you know, now we're just two games away literally from reaching the Europa League final, which of course the Europa League now looks like our best avenue of getting back into the Champions League for next season. Um, of course, we've been on back-to-back -back defeats in the league, um, losing at home to Crystal Palace and then getting slapped up by both Wolves and Leicester away. And, you know, it kind of favours us, this first leg being at home. I think we need to kind of treat it like the Napoli game. We need to, you know, be as dominant and, you know, try at least get a free, free goal cushion in this game. Hopefully a 3-0. Don't want to give Valencia an away goal. But, you know, hopefully we can try to go for a 3-0 victory in this game um, to take into the second leg. At, at present, I don't have the most confidence in this team after the way they've played over the recent week or so. Personally, if it was down to me, um, I think the only players that would survive in this team after Sunday's performance would probably be Leno and Torreira. Um, everyone else, you know, would be dropped, but we don't we don't have that, you know, sort of squad and quality where, you know, you can still say, oh, that's it, I'm going to drop all these guys because the fact of the matter is our squad depth and stuff is, isn't the greatest. Um... You know, we know that our form at home has been relatively well this season and that's all we can kind of look for going into this game. Hopefully the likes of Meza Ozil is back for this game as much as, you know, he gets criticism and sometimes I've critiqued him um, fairly. Um, he's definitely a guy we're going to need for this game um, because, you know, we can get him on the ball, we can get him you know, creating space and passes. He's the sort of guy that um, I think would, would do well in the squad right now. And it's a, it's a bit of a shame because, of course, we we sent the likes of Emil Smith-Rowe on loan um, in January. And, you know, I'm not saying this, Emil Smith-Rowe is a, you know, top quality, um, world-class attacking midfielder yet, but I feel like the way that a lot of our attacking players, the likes of Mkhitaryan and Wobi, um, haven't been doing much at all of the recent weeks or majority of the season, you'd think that a guy like that right now, this probably would have been a very good time to to have him in the sides and, you know, give him a chance. But, you know, he's on loan and he'll be back for next season. But um, it'd be interesting to see what sort of formation Emery goes for here because, of course, I think this is one of the things that though he does like changing things up, sometimes he changes, he's changing things up a bit too much. Um, you know, sometimes we've got... Um, Sometimes we've got four at the back. Sometimes we've got three at the back. Sometimes we've got five at the back. You know, sometimes we're playing a a four, two, three, one, um, in the sense of three, five, two, and a five, three, two, in a sense, or f a five, four, one, um, and then we've also played a a four, four, two diamond. Which, funny enough, we haven't actually played of recent. I think that might be down to the 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 fact of you know our availabilities at right back and such. But, you know, some of our best performances this season have come playing that, you know, four four two diamond. So it'll be interesting to see what formation it goes for for this game. Based on how we've played our, our recent games, um I think that to be honest with you, I don't I don't know. I think we might go over back three, but we haven't gone with it for the last couple of weeks. So we might even stick with a back four. Personally I would go with a a back three, I know we're at home, but I just feel that we can get our teams a bit better with a back three. And, of course, the wing backs are bombing forward. So, bearing that in mind, I'm going to get straight into my starting 11. I mean, goal, Bert Leno. Of course, he had a bad performance against Wolves, but bounced back with that against Leicester. He was quite unfortunate, you know, that we, you know, in the end, lost the, the game 3-0. But I believe he'll be um, confident, especially playing in front of the home crowd. And I believe we'll get a good performance out of him. In, as the back three, I'm just going to stick with Socrates, Mustafi and Koscielny. Um I think Mustafi had a bit of a better game when he went to right back against Leicester. I'm not saying that he's our new right back. He'll probably have to play there in our next Premier League game anyways because Maitland-Niles will be suspended for that. But, you know, I, I would stick with those three as the, as the back three. Um, of course, Monreal missed the Leicester game with a calf injury, so I, I can't see it being any different. So I, I would stick with those three as the back three. Um, as the left wing back, of course, going to be Kalasinac. Of course, with us playing the back three, this would suit him more. He'd be able to bomb on forwards and, you know, hopefully get some of his crosses and passes in the right places and not into no man's land. Um, 
obviously the right wing back, I'll go with Ainsley Maitland Niles. Of course, um, the wing back position is a bit better suited to him than right back because, of course, the right back's more focused on, in a sense, his defensive duties. Whereas the wing back, I believe he can bomb on forward and hopefully he can have one of his be better performances. Um, I'm not knocking him for the red card the other day. He was a bit unfortunate. Bit of a silly lunge, but Madison cheated and made the most of it. And of course, he, he, he got a red card, which of course makes him suspended for our next Premier League game. But I think we'll get a good performance out of Maitland-Niles in this game here. Um, going into the two midfield, I'll stick with the same two that's played the last couple of games, Xhaka and Torreira. They're our best midfield two. And of course, therefore, um, I, I can't see us going with anything different, really. Um, just in front of those two... And playing behind the front man Of course if he's fit um, I'd go with Meza Ozil But if he's not fit I I'm going to go with Alex Awobi um, Reason I'd go with Awobi ahead of Mkhitaryan is You know he actually gets the ball And tries to drive at players um, The one thing with Mkhitaryan He's been absolutely quite shocking of recent To be honest with you And you know the sooner the transfer window comes And we get rid of him the better but, you know, if if Ozil's fit, he goes in that, that number 10 kind of hole. If not, then I'd go with um, Iwobi, and I think he can do a, a relatively decent job in there. Then, of course, we go with the front two men of Lacazette and Aubameyang. Now, these guys need to, you know, start fixing up, to be honest with you, because the performances of recent haven't, haven't been good enough. I know some people will state the service and whatnot, but at the same time, you... Um, one thing that each player themselves are responsible for is the work rate they show on the pitch. And... You know, Aubameyang probably more so than Lacazette hasn't really shown that recently. I know he's missed a couple of games with the operation on his sinus or sinus, however you, however you want to pronounce it. But at present, the the striker that's showing the the most effort when he's on that field is Eddie and Ketia, which isn't you know isn't good enough. So I, I believe that these two guys need to you know put in a good performance and you know get on the score sheet and any chances they get they need to take because you know. That's one of our issues. We're not being clinical enough. If we can be clinical, um, it's going to benefit us into getting into the Europa League final, and then hopefully we get to the final and therefore win and get back into the Champions League, instead of hoping Chelsea flop and we win our last two games. Because right now we don't know that we can win a game in the league. So, you know, I think that these these guys, you know, really owe the fans and themselves a performance to show that they are top quality. And, you know, I believe if we get that, if we get 110% performance from the players, kind of similarly, if they show the same sort of effort they did when we played Tottenham at home, Liverpool at home, um, Chelsea at home, United at home, I think we'll be in for a for a good result here. Um, in terms of the likes of people on the bench, um, you know, Czech, it would surprise me if Emery puts Czech to start in. I personally wouldn't, but who knows? But if... if in, for me, based on the start of 11, I've got, gone with the likes of people I'd have on the bench would be the likes of Petr Cech. Um, there isn't really any other defenders because of everyone I've put in the starting line. I'd probably have to probably see the likes of Jenkinson, Elneny, Gwendozi, Mkhitaryan, um, Enketia. You'd probably see that the same sort of kind of weakish bench that we've seen of recent. But you know what? Um, the players need to prove to themselves and it's time for them to show to the fans that, you know, they can fight and they're, they're willing to end the season on as much as a high as possible. So, therefore, bearing that in mind, they owe us a, a top-quality performance and I believe if they give us 110%, they can, of course, get the victory. So, that's what I'm hoping for in this game. Um, of course, let me know in the comment section below what your starting level would be, what sort of formation you're going with, what your score prediction would be. I'm going to go with a... 2-0 win um, of course confidence isn't that great but I believe we can get a 2-0 win out of this game um, and you know that's all I can hope for I, I'm not going to be negative on the side I, I, I want us to win every game and of course if we can go ahead and win the Europa League it'll be a, a good end to the season um, but yeah bearing that in mind that's all for me for today in terms of my previews um, predicted lineup and score prediction of course, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And, you know, follow me on um, social media. Um, everything's in the description box. And, you know, just like, share, subscribe. And I'll catch you later. <laughs>